Can I count it off? Yeah. Can I count yeah. it off? Yeah. Count up. One, two, three, four. This is Linda Rochelle. Just had to say a few words about Clyde Stubblefield and Jabo Sparks. Um, just want to say, first of all, you guys are elders. You guys are, are way makers, path makers. Um, the way that you guys play is, is the reason why not just myself, but many others play that way. Um, you know, you guys have your own personality, your own style, your own swag. And I just really appreciate how you guys got down. Um, you guys really really made James Brown sound. I, I believe everything comes from the drums, the feeling, the energy, the emotions, dynamics, the pulse, the time, everything. You guys are truly the kings of pocket. I just want to honor you all. I'm grateful for you all. God bless you. Before I even got that far, those sticks I tore you off, off the tree, up in, up in the country where the sawmill was, we had a close friend of the family. He knew I was trying to fool around playing. He went to the planting mill, as they call it, got some of that smooth lumber, and he took his knife, and he made me a pair of sticks. I don't know how he learned what, what they look like, the tips and all, but he made me a pair of sticks. I kept them sticks. Couldn't break them. Didn't break them either. <laughs> I kept them jokers, man. And and that's what, that's one of the things that I, I, I learned to do. And, and uh, I never will forget my my first set of drums that that I bought in Mobile was from uh, <coughs> this oh man I'm trying to think of the name of the music store. That was a music store that catered to, and they had a set of drum called Susie. A uh, set a uh, Susie. Susie, huh? I remember that drum. You heard of it? That, yeah. was, that, that was, was a set of drum called Susie's. I ain't never heard. Hey, man, I thought that was the way. And right. then I got a little set of Susie's, and the guy told me, he said, well, I'm going to sign for you for him to play him, but he's going to pay you so much a week for him. Mm -hmm. And I, pay, I started playing little gigs, man, 75 cents, 80 cents, a dollar. And, and I take that money, and that's what I go down there and pay on the drums, man. Right. And, uh, People would ask you, how you get them drums to sound like that? I, I play drums and I can't get them. I says, this is what I feel. This is how I want my drums to sound. And I just and, uh, never had them. You never, you, it wasn't anything special. Mm -hmm. It's the way you fixed them up for yourself. <laughs> when <Yeah>. I had <laughs> my little Susie. <laughs> like that drums. Man. I had a Tom Tom and I had a Flo Tom. I thought I was big stuff then, man. Like, like today, the best drums I know of is Yamaha. They got some of the best wood. Uh, and, and not this, they got piles of wood. We went to their factory, Jabbo and I. They got piles of wood. And we picked out our piles of wood and made our own snare drum just out of the blue. And uh, it's beautiful. It's got a great sound. It, it ain't like some other snare drum that uh, the company made. It's like ours mm -hmm. sound. But to see, that's now. I'm thinking way back when, mm -hmm. when I didn't have any of it, you know. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I'm thinking that I could take it, and I always liked, you know, back then, you had to use cow hides. And I mm -hmm. learned I would buy a sheet of cow hide and cut my own heads. Really? Yeah, man. You, hey, man. <laughs> you had to you improvise. You take that drum and draw your ring around right. it. Take it at the ends of it, and you cut that head to cut that cow hide out. You put it on that drum. You you tighten it on there. But that's the way you give it enough for you have your hoops right. Mm -hmm. But it's one thing about it. In the summertime, you kept winding on that 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 cow hide all night long, boy. Cause it, the heat get to it, and it just start oh, start, start, start start shrinking and get the. In the winter time, it held, and that's what you did. You played, you played cow hides, and after cow hides, you know, you then it came to be uh, the, the, the 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 plastic head. I was so glad the first time, man. I was so glad when they came out with plastic heads, because all you do is tune them and leave them. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that cowhide, you had to tune constantly. You know, even when you were playing, right? Man, at a little take on mission, you had to go retighten that sucker. It was hot, man. But that's you know that was a part of it, man. I, right. I've even worked on my eyes. I, I learned how to do can. that, man. I, I played garbage can lids. That's your first set of drums. That's my first, first set. Yeah, I went to here in Armed Forces Parade, and uh, I walked home marching with nothing. And I got home, and I got a like Jabo, I got some tree limbs <laughs> and broke them down and stuff and started playing garbage can lids and boxes. That's all I had. I didn't have no bass drum or nothing. So uh, it was a lot of fun and the grooves were my grooves I set. And then when I did get a set of drums, I put that groove on the drums and it was a mother. I said, whoa, this sounds good. And I kept it going like that. But uh, came from the trash can top, so. It came originally from the trash can. Top. It came originally, yeah. But you had to understand it too. You didn't have, you couldn't afford. Right. You really could not afford a set of drums to buy drums and of that nature. You couldn't right. afford to do it. Right. Yeah. You know, you didn't have the money, and then your parents didn't have the money to, to spend on you buying a set of drums. You know. So they didn't stop you. You just had to do what you. Hey, had to do. man, you did what you had to do, man. Yeah. But then That's again, right. it was a learning experience. Right. It was truly a learning experience. It was. Man. What yeah. sticks you? It was a creation. Creation. You made your own creation. Right. And uh, nobody could tell you or change you. Right. See, I didn't join no school band or nothing. I wasn't in no band. Because they were playing one, two, three. One, one, one. Two, two, two. I said, that ain't no music. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't say that. I, I, I wanted to be in that marching band at home. In the eighth grade, I used to go over to the campus, high school, that was from us, even though you had to walk or ride your bike or whatever, and during the summer, and they would have band practice. And I used to sit there and just watch, because the, during my eighth grade season, there was a, a, a drummer from the school that I was going to. He was the, the, he was lead drummer in that in that high school band, and if I I followed him during Mardi Gras time, I used to follow him the whole while we were there, whole while it was at Mardi Gras. I used to follow him and just look at him, and I used to look. You knew when he came in and started playing, and I said I want to play like that. I want to be able mm -hmm. to command playing like that. But then during the summer, before going into my freshman year, I went over there for band practice. Guy, yeah, I want, I want to join this band, man. I want one of these uniforms, and I want to play the drum. Well, I, I had said, a well, don't know freshman. There's no freshman. There's, there's never a freshman gonna make this band. Right, right. Well, he went, I made right. that band. He went right. We I both made that did band. the same thing. I made it, mm -hmm. and 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 I was I was proud of myself for me because I I heard the rudiments, I I heard the patterns, and I learned them. Mm -hmm. I, and every time I see drum line. I think about that guy that mm -hmm. couldn't read enough, but he if he heard you do it and saw you do it, one he time. could do it he, one time and mm -hmm. he had it. But I could I heard that and that's why I got, I started getting because never had a, never had an instructor. And before but I had a, of it, man. before I had a set of drums, I had a school marching band drum that I got in the, the trumpet player. Him and I used to go home after school and we sit on the back porch and we play when the Saints go marching in. <laughs> And uh, just play it. And then that's how I just play on that one drum and everything like that. And then when I got a set, I knew what, what I felt and how to put it on that set. Right. So I put, the, I put different things on that set. And uh, it came out so nicely that a band starts saying farming and going, come on, we want you to play with us. I said, okay. But I didn't know nothing about getting paid. Uh, making money, you know, but uh, it came into practice for that, and I says, yeah, I like to play, cause I make some money. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Um, had a question from one of our other artists. He wanted to know if the tuning of your drums 
back in the day when you guys played with James, did James insist on you guys having your drums tuned? Oh, oh no, man, James, James, James didn't say nothing to us about nothing. nothing. No, nope. not no drums. He knew better. Nope. He didn't know nothing in a way about them. Mm -mm. We knew what we wanted. We knew what we, the sound we wanted to play, and that's what we did. He that's never, right. he never came up and said he always thought he was a drummer. Though he thought he oh, could yeah. play, yeah. you know, but he never did that. Never uh -huh. came up and said, "Can't you all tune this a little more of this?" No, Give he me never, this? he never no. said nothing about that. Nothing. And I heard you guys talk about how you would just come up with your grooves, and James would come in and say, "I like that." Put lyrics to it. Did he communicate to you guys at nope. all about drum parts? Nope. About who? About dr about maybe changing your drum parts a little. No, bit. no, no, sir. No, he they didn't. Were no, that no, he <coughs> wasn't. He, too, that he didn't do that. Too. We didn't even know he was coming in and putting lyrics to the song. No, he didn't. Yeah. He he didn't try to change no pattern. Cause, see, here's here's another thing, Chris. If James came in and said, he wait a minute, let me show you. Now play it. This is the way I want you to play. You just sit there and watch it. Mm -hmm. And whenever he made up his mind, he was through. Now that's now you do and you sit down and play what you were playing all the back before he got there, and after he got there, that's it. And when he wants you to think that when he showed he played, you how to play. When he played drums, he sounded horrible. <laughs> he didn't play drums. <laughs> yeah, well, the little bit he played, all right, all right. he sounded so bad. I go, oh no. Well, anyway, <laughs> that was he never he never did that, man. Isn't that funny? He was a great dancer and he couldn't play drums. There's a lot of good drummers that can't dance. Oh, yeah. Can you guys dance? I'm one. Do you? I don't I dance. I can dance. You can dance? Okay. <laughs> I used to do it. I used to dance pretty good oh, at one cool. time. Stop doing it. But see, here's the thing. He was a hoofer, man. I keep using that word. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, 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 and that, see, they all watch that stuff. If you, back then when you went to New York, if you got to the Apollo, mm. Sandman, I'm trying to think of the guy named that did all the announcing, man. They were all in that movie. All these guys, man, were tap dancers. And they would start, you know how they would challenge each other, I got this move and I don't work this out. That's what they were doing. James would do that, do that. One of the better people I knew would do that would be Sammy Davis Jr. Mm -hmm. Sammy Davis would go in, but and don't think it, that bucket dance. Yes, Sammy Davis Jr. could do a little everything. But anyway, I'm just saying that's what they got together. And James was a to me was a hoofer, man. He was a hot. He answer. was he was a hoofer, hoofer. And and when when you watch some of the stuff and the mood that he was making on some of the things, you watch how he what he doing. Yeah. And he started putting his dance grooves along with the band, the drums. He started putting them together himself. And, you know, we didn't know nothing about it. We didn't know I he knew was when I his... was playing. Right. I watched him, and I knew what he was doing. And when I see him do little things, I was making little, I was doing patterns against what he was doing. And when he came back to do it again, he got the hits were done. Yeah, I like that. And that's what I started. That's when mm -hmm. his hits started being done so for most him. Of yeah. Hit, bat, yeah. Bat, bat. And we didn't know what we were doing. We were just having a good time. <laughs> yeah. Well, we one thing we were all we were our own creation, Jabbo and I, in drums. And I never met other drummers that said that that they were their own creation. Jabbo and I, we were our own creation, and we made hits with our own creations. And uh, unbelievable, you know, you least expected this is going to be a hit. Let's talk about uh, the sticks you guys play. Hmm? Let's talk about the sticks you guys use. What kind of sticks you play oh, with? I use uh, I use I use Vic First. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I endorse them. I use Vic First sticks. Yeah, Vic First. Yeah. Yeah. I used to use uh, from Brockstein when I was with Bobby Bland, Brockstein Music Store in, in, in Houston. Mm -hmm. Well, Brockstein was a big time uh, uh, pr pr promoter of Pro Mall. Oh, okay. And I used to play pro marks when I, until I, you know, till I left, till I was introduced to Vic First. Well, I didn't know anything about sticks until I started using Vic First mainly. So I used five A and seven A sticks. No, I just used so those two. I, I was using pro mark at that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what symbols do you play? Huh? What symbols do you guys play? <laughs> Mine them, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this guy had two questions. Um, he says, first question is, at what moment, whether in a live session or recording, did you become fully comfortable with your drumming abilities? 
some of the ability. Yeah, I've always you, been, you comfortable. been comfortable when you when you playing you. How can you not be comfortable right. playing playing you? Because you don't know what you're doing anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know that I know that I'm playing me, and yeah. I'm comfortable playing. That's really not taking. Right. Don't ask me to play like somebody. I'm comfortable playing with me. Mm -hmm. Playing me. No one ever asked me to play like someone. This guy also asks, what was or what has been the greatest catalyst in improving your playing? The greatest what? What helped you? What really improved your playing the most as you were coming up? Was it playing live with somebody? Was it going into the studio? Was no, it no, no. It's play. You constantly playing. Night after and, night. And night after night, and you constantly, you're constantly trying to improve what you're doing. Well, Brown gave me an opportunity to bring mine out and play for the world, and that's the only way. I, you know, I didn't think I was going to be able to play with not, no band or nothing. But uh, he, I joined when I joined him. He gave you gave us the opportunity to play your pattern for the world, you know. And I was shocked, you know. A little bit, I'm still shocked a little bit now because people are trying to play my pattern. They come up and ask me how I do this. I go, I don't know. <laughs> That's it for mine. Fine. Thank you. All right, thank you all. Thank you. You heard back to see us now, you hear? <laughs> what I want to do, I want to take a photo of all of us. Yes. Just yeah. stay on the couch and we'll yes. join you in. Well, come on, come on in the come on. Oh, yeah. The, I just want to say thank you all, man. This is this has been a... Oh, thank brother. Thank you, man. This thank you, been, thank you. Seriously. Thank you. Yeah, this yeah. is what I like. I it's like this kind of... It's been beautiful, man. Yeah. Yeah.